Hallelujah. This morning, I'm going to be sharing by the grace of God on the topic, Remove the Mask. Remove the Mask. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord desires that we you know in 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 the olden times um the you know people like me who read the book Shakespeare there would be scenes where you would go and when they invited you for a party they would carry a mask I don't know whether you get it. It was in a stick, alafu na macho na macho. And so they would walk with it like this. You know, when they would see, uh, when they would want to talk with somebody heart to heart, they would remove it. When they did want to be noticed, they would bring it back and then they would pass. And that was their lifestyle. But today in the house of God, we have no it's it's no longer partial sio ile ya kuweka na kurudisha we are living permanently with masks bwana yesu asifiwe and i pray by the grace of god this morning that god is going to unmask us hallelujah many of us are living crooked lives and giving a picture that life is okay it can no longer be that way amen we are either in the light or we are in darkness but we cannot pretend to be in the light while living in darkness praise the lord the mask has got to come off the mask has got to come off we want to see you for who you really are Now if one if a lady for example is not too comfortable with how they look they will never leave their bedroom without doing something on their face Now that person does not have a problem with their face they have a problem with identity on the inside Praise the Lord Praise the Lord. That person doesn't have a problem with how they look. They have a problem with how they look on the inside, what they feel on the inside. Praise be to Jesus. And so I I just want us to picture something. I was taking I, I took a little study yesterday about rotting. When something is getting rotten When something is getting rotten, it begins to get rotten from the inside. Hallelujah. But it is always a foreign body that comes in. It is either a bacteria, it is either a fungi, it comes in. But because it does not want to be noticed, it will go right inside and begin to rot from within. By the time you're seeing the rot on the outside it is irredeemable. Last Sunday we were being taught about sexual purity. Praise the Lord. And we are still on that. And we were given the word that it begins with the eye. It begins with the eye as a gate. Your eye you have you have several gates in your body. Hallelujah. About 5 or 6 gates. Gate number 1 is your eye. Hallelujah. So the entry point is your eye. You've got to be careful about what comes through your eye. Praise be to Jesus. It is the most it, it, it is the most ni ile uweze kapazia. Wanasema macho hayana pazia. Kwa hivyo kama haujajifunza jinsi ya kuangalia kuna vile utajipata. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is a gate that only God can teach 
teach you how to guard your gate. The eye gate cannot be guarded by shades. The eye gate cannot be guarded by, by looking down or looking in heaven. It's got to be guarded somewhere else. We're going to look at that. Then there is the ear gate. Whatever comes through your ears affects your life. You, best, you, you, you must be conscious about what you hear and what you keep listening to. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huwezi kuji expose tu kwa kitu yoyote, wewe unasikiza tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wengi wetu hatupendi tunaingia tu matatu za ngoma. We exposing ourselves. By the way the problem again is not your ear. We're going to we're going to dive into where the problem is. Praise be to Jesus. The other gateway is is the nose. Praise be to Jesus. You have heard in science it is said that the one who sits next to a smoker is the one who smokes more than the actual smoker. See in science. So you're exposing yourself into an environment of alcohol. By the way, anyone here who used to drink, I'm using used to, because I trust God that none of us is. If you're drinking today, if you live here still a, a drinker drinking, you'll have missed an opportunity for your redemption. Are you hearing me? The first time you come close to Pombe, does it smell good or bad? But people drink, right? You have to acquire the smell. Hmm, kitu inanuka vibaya. Hakuna changa yote inanuka vizuri. Na Pombe inanuka kama changa. It's just been styled up. Praise be to Jesus. It's just the same thing. Be careful about what comes through your nose gate. The other one is the mouth. Praise be to Jesus. The word of God, Jesus said that not so much, not so much as evil comes through your mouth as that which comes from your mouth. But your mouth can also cause you to fall. Praise be to Jesus. Have you ever found yourself in a place where you suddenly become loose because of eating? Take a fast. Take a fast, a proper fast from food you will talk less. True or not true? You eat food. There is something that happens in SGR. Before that breakfast is served, what do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? And it's not an evil thing. Everybody, pa, 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 all the way to Mombasa or to Nairobi, that Whatever that tea or that food does, ni kama imekuwa kitu. But haijaekuwa kitu ni chakula tu. Praise be to Jesus. So there is a way and you can look at it in scripture and you will find a people living in, in unrighteous lives, mixing that lifestyle with a lot of eating. Did you ever read that gluttonous is a sin? It's another gate. Praise be to Jesus. The other gate is your sexual area. It's most dangerous, lethal. Praise be to Jesus. That gate is supposed to only be opened once. And it is supposed to be opened only in the holy union of a man and a woman. Not a man and a man. Not a woman and a woman. A man and a woman in holiness before God. Having been released by their parents and having been, been released by heaven. We are living still in sin. If you are involving yourself in sex. And you are not even. Uja pati wa permission. Uja kubali. Oh, mini kwa over 18. Eh. Uko over 18. Uko na wazazi. Sijui ni mbegu gani. Did you hear what we had last Sunday? There is a seed if you're not conscious about your future. You mess it today. There is nothing as painful as seeing your child becoming worse than you are. 
and you only think about yourself. Praise be to Jesus. It's a very serious gate that we must guard. Now, all these gates, and the last one is the novel, Kitov. That's also another gateway. A lot of things that happen in our life happen because of our lineage. This is the gateway. You will walk in weaknesses and, and sins and things that you walk in as a person, whether born again or not. You will find yourself walking in the sins of your father's father. Did you hear what we had? It goes down the generation. How? Through the novel. That is why baptism is important. Water baptism. When you, are, when you have deep understanding. And you get baptized in much water. You cut off that link between you and your family. And, 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 and get established in God. One else has a few these are gateways to us, to our lives within. The enemy will enter through any of these gateways. And his intention is not to begin the rot from your eyes or nose or ears. He wants to go right in the center. And the center being our heart. Praise the Lord. Recently we, I went home. And I saw how big, a, a, a big tree, a big tree, a big, a big tree just fell. It was in my, my wife's shags. Now as I was doing my study, the rotting of a tree begins in the inside, in the trunk. Kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa na mti ambao umesimama lakini huo mti ndani iko holo but on the outside it looks like it is okay wait until the storm comes and then you see a massive tree come down it's not coming down because because the wind was too strong it is coming down because the rot happened on the inside iliose ndani wanaeswa sifiwe Na wengi wetu kama wa kristo, tunatembea kama tumeoza upande wa ndani. I want us to look at scripture today. Because the enemy's target, listen. You read in the book of Psalms chapter 51 concerning David. David looked at Bathsheba. Praise the Lord. But where did the sin finally rest? Right deep in the heart. That is why when he's repenting, he's not repenting just on the surface. But he's repenting saying, Lord, you desire truth on the innermost part of our being. Because the enemy's target is the core. Ukiyoze now you by the time the rot gets to the outside, you are long gone. Praise be to Jesus. And to not address your kuoza ambao in the lea kwa nyumba ya buana. Kuna kuoza kwingi ambao in the kwa nyumba buana because of the state of our heart. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. I want us to look at a couple of scriptures this morning. Hallelujah. There is nothing more dangerous than the sin within. Let's turn to, to Matthew chapter 23. When you get to Matthew 23, I want you to put your finger there and then you turn to, you turn to James, uh, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 23. Praise be to Jesus. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 23. It is a scripture that many of us know. Hallelujah. Maybe you just didn't know where it is, but you know it. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter three, chapter 4, verses 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it... 
are the issues of life. The life we live is a life that is dictated from the heart. Vanessa sifiwe. Your heart na siongei moyo ambao unaona ikichapa chapa hivi. Hiyo sio moyo ambao naongelelea. Vanessa sifiwe. I am talking about the seat where evil or good sits. Vanessa sifiwe. It is a place in the human body that God created that can either house God or can house the devil. Praise be to Jesus. And everything we do in life is governed from the seat of our heart. When the Bible says that guard your heart with all diligence because out of it comes the issues of life. Everything in life that you will ever do is dictated by your heart. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hakuna kitu ambacho utafanya ambacho ukipendi. Na hii upendo ambao tunasema juu yake ni upendo ambao inatoka kwa ndani, kwa moyo wako. Praise be to Jesus. Utachukizwa na kitu wapi moyoni? Utapendezwa na kitu wapi moyoni? Kitu ambacho kitakupendeza utakifanya. Kile ambacho akitakupendeza hautu hautakifanya. So you are directed and each one of us our life is governed by the heart. Everything in life is done from the heart. Let me let me give you an ex, uh, 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 a description. How many of you have big dreams? Lift your hand. Okay. Now, I will tell you the only people who live closer to their dreams are people who are passionate within. It doesn't matter whether you wish big. If the passion doesn't consume you from within to do it, you will never be. Even if you have the knowledge, even if you have a strategic plan, even if you have a you have a nice business plan, if you are not driven by passion, which is a, a, a dictate of the heart, you will never do it. So you don't do things because they are good. You do things because you love them. That is why the love of money can lead you to sin. Praise be to Jesus. Love is a heart affair. Praise be to Jesus. It's not a feeling. It's deep seated in the heart. Hallelujah. Everything you will ever do in life is dictated by your heart. And so you've got to guard your heart. Jeremiah chapter 17 verses number 9 talks about something in the about the heart and the word of God says that the heart of man is what is sinful and desperately wicked who can understand it praise be to Jesus i want to address some masks today bwana yesu asifiwe mtu yule hajaoga lazima apige marash Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yule ambaye anapiga marashi zaidi inaweza kuwa sisemi siku zote inaweza kuwa ya kwamba anaficha uchafu fulani. Praise be to Jesus. If you know you have showered and you are clean you don't have any issues. Praise be to Jesus. You try one day. I know probably it's happened to a couple of us. Ulikuwa wa mke mapema ukachelewa na hii kushawa business haikuwezekana utajipiga tu marashi ndio utoke praise be to jesus and so many of us have been able to to cover ourselves we have been able to cover ourselves with marashi to hide uchafu ulio ndani bwana yesu asifiwe tuko wachafu ndani hatuogi ndani lakini tunafanya kazi ya nini ya ku gamarash and you make sure you buy the expensive one that will last the whole day because you fear cold water bwana yesu asifiwe and so we are living a life that is cosmetic bwana yesu asifiwe ni maisha ya nje ambayo hai hai haina undani praise be to jesus so if if you find if you find yourself so concerned about the outer then there is a problem on the inside 
Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. I want us to turn to that Matthew that we talked about. Are you there? Matthew. My heart is so heavy because of the sinful lives we are living. And the Lord will not have it. It is time to get the mask off. Praise the Lord. Are you in Matthew 23? I want to show you a couple of things that are done exteriorly. Read from verse number 24. Matthew 23, I read from verse 24. You, you blind guides, you strain out a gnat but swallow a camel. Praise the Lord. Point number one about people who don't want to deal with heart matters. They show a sign of keenness on detail. But the detail is outside detail. Are you hearing me? Unaona hiki tu hiki tu kovibaya. Eh. Inaka vizuri. You're looking at small things, but the big thing that is bad who you are not addressing it. Praise be to Jesus. They have a way of always picking the small things but leaving the big ones. Praise be to Jesus. It's talking about guides. And you could be there and you are leading people and you always point out on the small things. But the big ones you don't touch. The Lord is touching big ones this season. He is not leaving you to touch only the small ones. Praise the Lord. I remember when I used to work in Safaricom and there was this stock controller. That stock controller was the kind of person easy jewala, paper bags, zile za Safaricom, you know, until they burnt them, those were the most beautiful paper bags you could ever get and strong. True or not true? You know, there was that small one, hile unachukwanga by simu, alafu kunilikuwa na ingine kubwa. He could always, tunataka kuchukwa yo paper. He ange somea watu. Ange somea watu. You know, and, and so the branch manager got so comfortable about this man being extremely vigilant. On small things, eh, hey, kasema, eh, hey, ujama, si yako, si dea sana kwa hizi vitu, ata kuna mta ndaza chukua jua lana, mbea, eh, hey, si wache tu yu mta chukue. First track, several years down the line, the man was caught in fraud. He had been stealing from the company for three years in millions. Unajua hizo siku, scratch card ilikuwa scratch card. Hai kwa hizi mapepa zenyezi kama receipt. He would pick a box of a hundred of, of a thousand. And it's a thousand times a thousand inside the box. Akikuja kiambia boss. Stock take iko sawa. Boss hata akweri. Kwa nini? If he's keen on small detail. Hey. Lazima kisema iko sawa iko sawa. He was stealing big but concentrating on small. Unfortunately. The branch manager got fired together with him. He was innocent. This other guy left to his... You, you, you concentrate on the small. But you, the big is so big. You know not measure. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord does not want us to deal. This is the mask we are talking about. Praise be to Jesus. You are so good on, on detail. But extremely lousy on lifestyle. You swallow a camel. But you want to strain a nut. Read verse 25. What to you, teacher of the law mm. and Pharisee, you hypocrite. You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Mm -hmm. Blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside also will be clean. It is important for us to look into our own lives and see, are we perfecting a work of cleaning the outside? 
and leaving the inside untouched. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. I will come and talk. By the way, I'm talking about clothes today. I was well, dressing. But I, you know, you can talk about dressing. And people begin to dress well. But they have not dealt with the filth on the inside. Your dressing does not change you. Are you hearing me? You have just washed the cup on the outside. But you have not washed the cup on the inside. You're giving it a look on the outside that makes it look like it's really it. But on the inside, it's still dirty. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is saying, it is time that you address those things on the inside. It is time that you clean up on the inside. Praise the Lord. The Lord is not interested in the outer cleanliness. Praise be to Jesus. You could find yourself as a very, very clean person even in your house. But you are not clean in your heart. Don't you know that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit? God needs a cleanliness of heart. Hallelujah. So you could be perfect in having a clean house. Having clean everything. But all this cleanliness is just a cover up of what is dirty on the inside. Paneso asifiwe. Kuna watu wengine hata wezi watembelea kwao. Uchafu tu. Paneso asifiwe. Huku nje ni kungara. Lakini kule nyumbani ni ni hata hata nisiseme. Paneso asifiwe. The filth is on the inside. The Lord is talking and he's saying the church we have perfected an outer act. Place me to Jesus. So how do we clean the outside of the cup? With a smile. How do we clean it? With a praise the Lord. Oh. How do we clean it? Oh Lord, you are here. How do we clean it? Oh Jesus. We are cleaning the outside of the cup. But the inside is still filthy. You worship me with your tongues, but your hearts are far away from me. Many of us are in that place where we have cleaned out our act. Our outer act looks all together. We look Christian on the outside, but we really are not on the inside. We have cleaned the outside of the cup. We have developed a Christian walk. Hallelujah. We have developed a posture. Kana kwamba kuna unyanyekevu. We have perfected the art of talking gracefully. We have perfected the joy of the Lord. But on the inside, there is filth. There is dirt. There is evil living on the inside. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. We can even perfect. You see, is it possible? By the way, it's in this scripture. Is it possible to give you guidance that I don't follow myself? That is washing the outside of the cup. I can tell you how to live, but you are not living that life. It's a lie. Live it fast. Let's see you live that life. Praise be to Jesus. That is why the scripture was very, very categorical. In those days, you are told that let the older women train up the younger women. Praise be to Jesus. Let the elderly train up the younger. It was not for fun that you are told you seek counsel from somebody married. When you want to get married. How do you seek counsel? From somebody not married. It doesn't mean that you can't. Paul gave counsel about marriage. And he lived for God. It's possible to. But have, have you perfected an art of just being a counselor to the whole world. And not receiving the counsel yourself. A man in the scripture called David. One time because he was a wise man. Prophet Nathan comes to him and he tells him, Man of, man of God, O king, live forever. I know you're a wise God, 
uh, you're a wise king. I want you to give me a bit of counsel. There is this story. And when he finished the story, David told him, let me tell you, that person that has stolen, ile mbuzi ya mwenyewe, uyu anafaku angamizo kabisa. Kweli, kweli, kweli. Asionyeshe uruma, asionyeshe uruma, ama lizo kabisa. Hai, si anafaku kwenyeshe uruma kitoko. Asema, mm. Akona, akona kondo wengi, akona mbuzi, na anakuja kunyanganya uyu mwenye akona mbuzi moja. Uyu ya uwawe. I, King Min, have killed you hard. I said, Mapana, that is exactly what needs to be done. Then he turns to him and he tells him, you know what? That person is you. Now do exactly that. Many of us have perfected the cleaning of the outside of the cup, but we are living filthy on the inside. Praise the Lord. We are living filthy on the inside. Read the next verse. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, mm -hmm. you hypocrites. Mm -hmm. You are like whitewashed tombs, mm -hmm. which look beautiful on the outside, mm -hmm. but on, on the inside are full of dead men's bodies mm -hmm. and everything unclean. Mm -hmm. In the same way, on the outside, you appear to people as righteous, mm. but on the inside, you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. This is what is wearing, wearing a mask is all about. Praise be to Jesus. And, 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 and please don't get me wrong, but I need to say this. There are some in the house of God today who are extremely helpful, but living lawless lives. Are you hearing? Yes. I don't need your money if you are not going to live holy for Jesus. We don't need it. We don't need it. I don't need your services if you cannot walk right before God. I mean what I'm saying, brethren. We cannot continue living, perfecting the outer works. The Bible says that these people are, 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 are professionals in making sure that the, the tomb is whitewashed. So they live to be seen on the outside as good people. I have news for you. Anybody struggling to make themselves good, look, look good to you, watch out. Are you hearing me? And mwenye anajipendekeza, kazi yake ni kujipendekeza, na kujionyesha jinsi yeye mwenyewe, anafanya vitu zinenda vizuri. Jiadari. Praise be to Jesus. It's hypocrisy. This kind of lifestyle is a lifestyle that you want people to see an image of you looking so good, but you are evil on the inside. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many of you here have not sang your pastor? Nini mmeka hapa? Na mtakuja mnismailie. Muniambie vinye mini mzuri. Na utaongelesha mshirika mwenzako. Usema uyu pasa amepotea. Hajui. Umaongea machafu kuhusu uyu pasa amesimama hapa. Lie before God today. If you haven't spoken evil of your pastor. I'm not talking another pastor. This one that is standing. Then you come and pretend to me. Oh, you think I don't know. By the way. And you see. Sometimes you think that this man is so blind that he has no discernment. By now he should have discerned that whoever is walking with is an evil person. Well, I discerned long time ago. Judas lived the same way with Jesus. But a time came, and the time is almost, that whoever is going to walk with me and is going to still walk in betrayal, God will expose you. Oh, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Jesus said, whoever is drinking this cup, mwenye tunashiriki na sasa huyu, ndo atani betray. And there are many of you here who are betrayers of me. And thinking of betraying me, you're betraying God. 
living a life on the outside. But on the inside you are full of iniquity and evil on the inside. Spirit of Absalom. Painting a picture. That looks so good on the outside. How you are working. How everything is going well. You are whitewashed. What? You see the thing about it. Is that the outside is being washed clean. But the inside is still a what? A tomb. Praise the Lord. The inside is a tomb. It's time. That we know. Whether it is a tomb. Or it is a church. It's time to remove that mask. It's time to remove that mask. Oh man, you can lie to your pastor all your life. You can't lie to yourself. The iniquity is cooking on the inside. The evil is working on the inside. This soul must be set free on the inside. We can't continue living like this. That's why there is no power in the house of God today. And you blame the pastor? Did not Achan carry the forbidden thing into the house and cause many to die? It's time that we stop living a double life and begin to live a life, a right life before God. Praise be to Jesus. What my shakujipendekeza? I have secured a nice look at Dama. It's like busy, it's like sales. You nisha close your sale. Dama views me good. So I come to Nessi and I paint a picture. Nessi views me good. Then I come to Lily and paint a picture. Now Lily sees me good. I'm scoring. Unashinda tu kazi yako ni kujipendekeza. Perfecting the outer while the inner is a tomb. Muswaili alisema nini? Kizuri? 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 Utauza kizuri ama kitajiuza? Mwenye anajiuza mwenyewe hakuna uzuri. Anything that is good sells itself. He said, come and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in spirit. There is no day that Jesus ever addressed himself. Adarani before people. Every time. Pay attention. Whoever loves to praise themselves. Is likened unto the Pharisees. Who perfect the outer. But the inside. Is crooked. Is dead. Praise be to Jesus. Men who are here. Watch your lifestyle. Because men are the hunters. Unaenda unatongoza unsichana. Unamambia one, two, three things. Then unaenda unatongoza mwingine. One, two, three things. You know, let me tell you. I have, I have lived a little bit to know that what goes around, I have lived just enough to know that that thing is not just a saying. It actually comes to pass. Hallelujah. I have worked with people who their husbands, now not, hmm, would cheat with this woman. Na nampangia nyumba. Have their own wife. Na nyumba. Have another one. Na nyumba. Na na balance. But a day is coming. And now is. That that lifestyle will not be sustainable. So what happened? What happened? Women are, are smart. We may think of them as dumb. But they ain't dumb. Praise be to Jesus. Now wana wake watatu wakakuja wakaanza kuongeleshana. Wakajua wanachezewa na mwanaume ngapi? Wakasema huyu 
kwanza kabla hata hatujamfungua let's tumfilizishe praise be to jesus so every one of the women begins to place a demand on his money any every one of these women begins to place a demand on his time at the same time valentines day Uta, utaweza watatu na huyu anakuambia mimi na sikuachi paka usiku paka asubuhi na huyu mwingine anangoja na huyu mwingine anangoja utazima simu useme nini it's going on in the church you will not come and i talk to you nesi and i tell you i think you're looking cute and i come and talk to you carol and i say mm, you are the one and i come I, be, be long wataongeleshana si men don't talk but women will get into the salon and you are strangers and you just begin talking at ebu describe tena huyu mwanaume ebu ebu ati anakaje anakaje ebu niambie jina yake you mean i thought it was another jeremiah it's the same one utapatikana utapatikana achana na wake wa watu achana na wasichana wa watu if you want you see this is the problem i don't know where the teaching came from we are not seeking god we are seeking wives unaangalia kwa macho unaangalia na mavazi praise be to jesus unakuja umengara ndio one kama utapendeka bwana yesu asifiwe unanipeleka lunch unanipeleka dinner it doesn't work seek god Don't look with your eyes you will get it wrong. You will get it wrong if you are a seeker by the eyes. Go and seek God. Let God reveal. This kind of people have perfected an outer image to people but they are not living that life. The Bible says concerning one time Jesus talking about these two people who came to pray. And when they came before him, one of them was a Pharisee and the other one was there and is here and he has perfected his art. Amen. He gives well and he knows it. Hallelujah. Mimi sitoi shilingi 5. Hii tithe yangu najua bila kuambiwa inashikilia pakubwa. Amen. They know how to pray well. Praise be to Jesus. But there is no depth thereof. It's an act on the outside. Praise be to Jesus. They know how to sing well but they don't worship from the inside are you hearing me this is a perfection and so this pharisee stands here looking cute and nice giving his resume to the lord in that something in that something that you're giving your cv to god my goodness can god be mocked mungu unajua 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 and and you know you are saying it openly before everyone can god be mocked this the bible says and the other one was beating his chest crying out to god god forgive me i am unworthy i am unworthy the bible says the one the publican left the presence of god more justified than the other praise be to jesus the bible says he was praying to himself in that something how we pray to ourselves oh my goodness god have mercy on us god have mercy on us i'm talking about the rot that is on the inside jesus one time he gets into a debate and they have come to him and they're telling him jesus Angalia watu wanakula bila kunawa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu kulikuwa na maji fulani ya kufanya nini? Ya kunawa. 
wanakula na mkono chafu hata wastahili angalia vile vitu wale wanakula 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 mbuzi ulaya chakula chafu then the lord said it is not what comes in through the mouth that defiles but rather that which comes from within that defiles now i'm getting to the heart of it hallelujah i'm getting to the heart of it let's open the book of james let's open the book of james chapter 3 is it chapter 3 or chapter 4 let's open the book of james james chapter 3 are you there i want us to read from verse number 8 james 3 from 8 and i read but no man can tame the tongue it is restless evil full of deadly poison with the tongue we praise our lord mm. and father mm. and with it we curse men mm-hmm. who have we been made who have been made in god's likeness we do what with our mouth with our tongue hmm? we praise our lord mm. and father and mm. with it we curse men who praise have be to jesus so upande huu una unasifu mungu upande huu una curse men look at them useless da 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 Wait, wait. and you keep on throwing words carelessly praise be to jesus on the one hand you are using your tongue to praise god on the other hand you are using the same tongue to curse men how possible is that how possible is that that you can actually bless and curse by the same mouth is it possible Well I'm going to tell you if you bless and curse with the same mouth we need to go to the source Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kama unabariki huku na huku kwingine una 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 unalaani unabariki huku unalaani unabariki huku unalaani hatukujui bado na tukitaka kukujua lazima tuende kiini We've got to go to the source Hallelujah. As much as the tongue is evil. You know some of us are such sweet talkers. Mm. Jinga mm, eh. Mm, mm, mm. Atajui. Mm, mm. You know you una paint picture. Unaimba kama malaika. Mm, mm. All is nice rosy looking good. Hata anakili, hata shika nishi vitu. Hata one nikimcheze akili. Eh, you know you think I my goodness. See, this is the lie of the devil that when you are a liar you think you are so smart. Men liars think they are smart. Lakini atajua hajui. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kila mwongo atajua ya kwamba hajui kwa sababu uongo wake utashikana naye. Na kuna mahali ambapo ukweli peke yake ndio inasimama uongo wote utajulikana praise be to jesus so your sweet tongue that you used to make people feel oh you have umoa box your lie echo on point it is on point to destroy you shortly praise the lord praise the name of jesus can you curse and bless with the same read we haven't finished that verse out of the same mouth mm. came praise mm. and cursing mm. my brothers this should not be this should not be read can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring is it possible kama hii kisima tuko nayo hapa ina ya chumvi kuna siku moja itatoa isiyo na chumvi lake victoria can never be a salt water lake it will always be a fresh water lake the indian ocean will always be an a salty indian ocean praise be to jesus 
But this is it. It is not even about those big masses of water. We are talking about a well. And the well is the source. Can that source bring forth two kinds of waters? Is it possible? <laughs> is it possible? The Bible says it's not possible. It's not. Read the next verse. My brothers, can a fig tree bear mm. olives? Mm. Or a grape vine bear figs? Mm. Neither can, can, a, can a salt spring produce fresh water. Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord is telling us to go right into the heart and find out what is in the heart. Praise be to Jesus. By the time unaropokwa na maneno, nitajua ni nini kikondani. Praise be to Jesus. May the Lord deliver us from foolishness that we will begin to look at fruit and know that the tree can never bear another kind. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Unachezewa na mwanaume. Eh? Unachezewa na mwanaume. Na anakuchezea tu vizuri. And then you think that they're going to change? If it does not happen from the source, ni kazi bure. The young people, those that are not married here, do not go on a, on a mission dating. We umekuwa missionary. Mi nampenda tu hata kuja kuokoka tu siku moja. He. He. Praise be to Jesus. Inaonekana source yako pia is one thing. Praise be to Jesus. It is time that we unajua ukishaona matunda kama upendi limao achana nayo. Haitawahi kuwa machungwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Oh, ili mao tu naweza nikaongezea tu kasukari ka 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 ka, ka, ka nini ka asali kidogo hivi itakuwa tamu itakuwa kama kama machungwa haitakuwa machungwa yes. you have seen the fruit know the tree praise be to jesus if you have seen the fruit know the tree and the bible talks about our tongue the fruit of our lips the fruit of our lips if you are how can i you see if you keep on talking vile through your tongue and nowadays we talk you say me i didn't talk i wrote you talked it was just a chat you talked usifikira ti hiyo hiyo ni fruit bwana yesu asifiwe by the time unayandika hiyo ni tunda ya kile ilicho moyoni bwana Yesu asifiwe so kama hiyo tunda yako ni tunda mbovu na jua mti i don't need to be told that this machungwa imetoka kwa mchungwa hili embe limetoka kwa mwembe see science it is not rocket science brethren no pengine tu pengine tu ilikuwa grafted maybe ni grafted hivi hii ndio fruit ya kwanza oh ngojea ya pili itatokea hivyo hivyo ngojea ya ta ya tatu by the time unafika ine umeingia kwa adam and eve ushakula and the lord is asking where are you it is time brethren Let's, let's not play around with fruit. You see the fruit if you, it is not the kind of fruit that you expected from the tree, flee. Brethren, is God holy? Is God holy? He is coming back. And he can only access a holy people. A holy people. Not a filthy people. Let me show you something. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 6. Oh, uh, you know, listen, this is what some of us say. We are flesh and blood. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. We are still in this world. We have to sin or it's a lie. It's 
Is Jesus coming back for a wrinkled church? Is he coming back for a spotted church? Which kind of bride is he coming back for? Spotless. So we are in church to nasema, oh, neeme metosha. Unafikiri neeme itaosha dambi yako. Anybody here being deceived that grace will wash away your sin. You are lied to. The Bible says, shall we continue to sin because grace abounds? God forbid, he says. Oh, neema imetosha. Neema ni kama tu. You know, sasingine tunawana tu neema ni kama tu imakuti kuju yetu. You know, now you are just living recklessly. Neema imetufunika. Hallelujah. Tuko na coolness. Neema ni kama inatupatia tu coolness. Ya kwenele kwa dhambi zetu. It's a lie from the devil. Neema siyo shade and shelter. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Isiyo kama, you see the way mwizi, mwizi ya kena kuiba unajwa ye uomba. Unajwa mwizi pia uomba. Mungu naenda kuimba nisishikwe, nisishikwe. Na hivyo ndo vile wengine wetu, tunafanya neema. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Mungu naenda kutenda dhambi, nisishikwe tu. Mungu, wacha bibi ya fulani, bwana ya fulani, asi waichwa. Naonja, naonja tu. Na hiyo ndo ya mwisho. Ya mwanzo na ya mwisho. Mungu umona hii majira yote ni mekua kafu. Ni mekua kafu mungu ni miaka ngapi. Ni miaka ngapi mungu. Ni kionjo tu kidogo. Halafu ni itatubu. Tunangaletua paju ya neema. Bwana yesu asifiwe. What if? What if? It a finehas happens on you. Let me explain to you a finehas. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. One time the the Israelites are dying in mass. Bwana Yesu asifiwe because people are living in sin. Wakaenda kwa nyumba I don't know whether it was Abner who. Akapata ako juu ya mwanamke. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wao umeongea umesema Mungu kionjo tu. Alafu nikitoka nitasema sorry. Wakiwa juu ya each other the Bible says and he put a spear through both of them. And the Bible says, and the curse was stayed. But 24,000 had died by that time. Because of a sinful life. Some of us are dying because of sinful lives. You may be saying, oh, kafine has. Kafine has katakupata. Wanaesu asifiwe. Ineza kwaza kuwa ni spear, but God will find you out. Praise be to Jesus. Ineza kwaza kuwa kafine has. Nakakuwa kazi the adulterous woman. Mwenye alipatikana in the act. Praise be to Jesus. Oh, mungu tu. Mungu tu. I need a man. I know you're there. You love me. But I need a man, Lord. Then you go and have your man who is not your man. No, no, onja. Mungu ilikuwa mzuri. Mungu lakini kwa mbaya ni dhambi ni mzuri ni mbaya ni It's a lie. It's going on on the inside. Praise be to Jesus. You will lie with one, you will lie with another, you will lie with a third one. Don't you know that whoever is joined to a harlot is one with a harlot? Let me tell you what it means. If you're joined to a harlot, you are a harlot yourself. You have just become a harlot because you're one with a harlot. Amen. So do not say that uyo ndo prostitute wewe kwa kuunganika na yeye mumekua. Wewe pia umekua kahaba. Brethren, shall we live right or not? Shall we live Let me take you to the scripture. Kwanza ndo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Brethren, it's time to live holy. It's time to ask for a holy life. You see, I shared last Sunday nikasema this is the series tutakuwa kwa hii series. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama upendezi una hii series